Hey everyone, so iOS 16.6 came out recently, but some people have reported bugs and glitches in this new update. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can downgrade back to iOS 16.5. So the first thing you'll need to do is plug your iPhone into your Mac or Windows PC. And you can do this using your iPhone's charging cable. And once you log onto your computer, you should get a trust notification on your phone asking if you want to trust the computer. So what you want to do is press on trust. And once you've done that, go ahead and open your search browser. And next, search for IPSW.me. Then select whether you're using an iPhone or an iPad and select the model of that device you're using. And I'm using the iPhone SE 2020. So I'm going to be selecting that. Then select iOS 16.5. Or if there's any other signed IPSWs, you could downgrade to those as well. And then go ahead and download this file. And while we're waiting for that to download, we're going to go onto our phone and open settings. Next, press on your profile at the top and tap on Find My. And make sure that Find My iPhone is disabled. And you'll also see that you need to type in your passcode as well. Now this next step will be different based on if you're using a Mac or a Windows computer. And if you're using a Mac, just go ahead and open Finder. Next, press on your device at the side of the window. And then the next step is just to hold down on the option key while you press on the restore iPhone button. Now on a Windows computer, just go ahead and open iTunes. And if you don't have it downloaded, just download it off the Microsoft store. Next, press on the iPhone button at the top left corner. And then while you press down on the shift key, just press on restore iPhone. Now for the rest of the video, the instructions will work for both Mac and Windows users. So for the next step, just select the file that you downloaded a moment ago. And next, press on open. And press on restore. And now you'll just need to wait for your iPhone to finish downgrading to iOS 16.5. So once your iPhone has been fully downgraded, you'll see that it'll be on the setup screen. So just go ahead and set it up. And once that's been done, you'll see that if you go into settings, then into general and about, you'll see that it'll be on iOS 16.5. Now that is how you downgrade iOS 16.6 .6 to iOS 16.5. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.